If you've ever been in the position where you wanted to try to recover data on your computer, whether you accidentally deleted something or something accidentally deleted it, finding a program to do that or finding a service to do that is not very easy. And Minitool reached out to me and wanted me to show off the power data recovery tool that they have. So I thought we would really quickly go over this. I would show the software a little bit. I will do some recovery tests and see how well it does. Um, I've done some preliminary tests already and it does pretty well, but we're gonna go over this one live in the video and we will see how this thing works. So let's get right into it. So here's the software, very nicely packed. The UI is pretty great. Um, on this first page, we have the logical drives. What a logical drive is, is basically the partitions. So these are all the partitions that exist on my computer as of right now. And it's got all of them here. So if you wanted to search a particular partition instead of a physical drive, you could do that, which is really nice. You can also recover from specific locations. So your desktop, your recycle bin, you can select an actual particular folder if you wanted to. And you can also load previous recovery results. So I actually saved the previous results, but I'm gonna rerun the test anyways. Um, but this allows you to not have to redo the whole scan. So say you did a whole scan of a drive, you recovered a few files, you saved your results, and then a little while later, you're like, you know what? I wanna grab more files from that drive again. I don't wanna have to wait the seven to 10 minutes that it's gonna take to scan it. I will just load the results from last time. Makes it a lot quicker, which is really nice. On this tab, we also have the actual devices. So these are all of the physical drives that exist. So that's pretty handy as well. And we will come back to this in a second. In the software, we also have some additional utilities that Minitool has. So they have their power data recovery bootable and their system booster. So you can check those out on their website. And then in the settings, you can specify the types of files that it's gonna scan for when searching either that partition, that drive, or those folders. So this can help speed up the process significantly if there are things that you don't really care about. So if you're looking for particular types of files, if you're like, I need documents, I don't care about pictures, I don't care about videos, you can unselect the things that you don't need, select the one that you do, and it will speed up the search process. Um, but if you are just trying to recover as many things as possible, you're gonna wanna keep all these checked and you can check what the other files mean. So if there's anything here that you'd wanna, you'd wanna keep, like text files and stuff like that, you'd wanna make sure you select those as well. I'm just gonna leave everything to the default. So I have the drive here. What we're gonna do is I have a couple of files here that I've set up as tests. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna delete these. So because those were deleted off of a portable drive, they just delete entirely. They don't go to recycle bin. We can check my recycle bin just in case and it's empty. So we're good. Now we are ready to go ahead and recover things. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go back to here. We're gonna go and we're gonna do the entire device. So we're gonna do that Lexar that we were on. We're gonna go ahead and scan this. And previously this took about 10 to 15 minutes. This is an older USB. So uh, we're gonna let this thing run. I am going to speed this up so you don't have to sit through the whole thing. I'll even put a timestamp as to when the scan finishes and we will come back once it's complete. Right. And we're back. Did take a little while, um, but wasn't too bad. Remember this is a 32 gig drive. I've had this one for a really long time and it's why I chose it because it's gone through multiple reformats and then those files that we just deleted. And we can see there are 7,544 files that it recovered. So 
it is definitely grabbing files from those previous reformats, as well as the ones that we just deleted. So if we go through and look here, we can see that we've got a bunch of stuff. So we've got these are the most recent ones. So these are the ones from the existing partition. So the most recent stuff here. So we can recover all of these. So let's do that. And I have a location on my computer. And we can go ahead and open those. And here we go. So those are all the files. Uh, the picture is just a screenshot of the video. So that worked. And the file looks perfectly fine. We have a PDF document. And that works. So that's pretty sweet. We have a Word document. That works. And we've got an Excel document. That also works. And we've got a video of me creating the Word document. And that also works. So that is pretty impressive. And it's great that those files that we just deleted were able to be recovered. So if you have things that you just deleted and you want to get them back, the software works, the free version works as long as you want under a certain file size. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Now let's go ahead and look at the other stuff. So if I go to the raw files here, we can see that there are Word documents, Excel documents, we got MP4 video files, and I'll show you one of those in a second. Um, we've got some images. We've got, so some of these are just wallpapers. Um, I had these previewed before. So I've got some wallpapers on here and like these are old, like that was from when Breath of the Wild first came out. Um, let's check this one out. We got Laura Croft. So like these are pretty old files and it is recovering them, which is very, very impressive to be honest with you. Got a whole bunch of other stuff from when I was moving files between computers. So I've got a whole bunch of like save files and stuff like that. Um, it's quite impressive. As I mentioned, it also I also used it to recover a video, um, a very large video, uh, half a gig worth, and it's actually an Attack on Titan episode. So the fact that it was able to recover that is pretty impressive as well. And the software is doing a great job. Now, the only problem, as I mentioned, is that on the free version, you are limited. So we can talk about that next. If we look here, this is the comparison of the free versus the paid versions. So on the free, you are limited to only one gigabyte of total data recovery. Now, if you're just trying to recover some Word documents, some Excel files, maybe a couple images, and some PDF files, you should be totally fine. The only time that I think this is gonna become really problematic for people is if you're trying to recover videos, because videos can often add up to over a gig or even the single file can be over a gig. So do keep that in mind. And the rest of this is you cannot load previous scan results automatically. So that sucks. You can't load those save results that I talked about before. So I saved results. I wouldn't be able to load them. That's a bummer. You are able to preview your files. You are able to recover and you cannot do it through WinPE and you don't get a free upgrade. Now, if you want to go up to a monthly subscription, $70, you get unlimited data recovery for one computer and you get access to all those features. If you're just trying to recover one thing that you accidentally deleted and that thing is over one gigabyte. So if you accidentally wiped a drive that had a bunch of videos that you had from a vacation, this would be a situation where you might want to just do the monthly subscription. However, the annual subscription is $89 and then the perpetual license, which means that you buy it once and you have it forever is a hundred bucks. If you, if this is something that you are planning on using more than once, I think the annual subscription isn't even worth doing and the perpetual license is probably the better idea. But again, if you're just looking to do this one time and you do not think you're ever going to use it again, the 70 bucks, not too bad. Now these are hefty prices. These aren't like a $14, $15 price. Like it's a pretty significant amount. So 
you do have to consider if that is worth it to you. Now I will have a link in the description if you do want to check this out. And as I mentioned, I've been using the free version in this video and I was able to do all the stuff. I still have over 300 left and that's because that one video file here is 635 megabytes. So it used a pretty significant amount of that recovery um, allowance that I have of one gig, but I could probably get all these pictures, these PNGs, a couple of PDF files, some Word documents, like I can get quite a bit back. So it's pretty, pretty great still. As I mentioned, those situations where it's best, one gigabyte can get you quite a bit of things back, especially if it's just documents. So do keep that one in mind. With all that said though, this software did what it promised. It did a very good job of that. It grabbed a lot more than what I would have expected. It's been grabbing files that were deleted years ago. And this also kind of shows you things that I've talked about in the past where de deleting data off your drive isn't enough. Doing proper wipes of your drives if you are gonna be selling them or giving them away to other people is extremely important because software like this can grab things that I've reformatted once, twice, three, even four times over, um, over the years. So do keep that in mind, but I really do hope this video helped you out. And if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. If you like, subscribe, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below, and I'll try to get to them all as quickly as I can. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, and thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you do want to see any other videos where I talk about software like this, you can go ahead and check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.